Uh, hi, Sambit. My name is Pranav, and uh, I'm like 18 years old and coming to Netherlands for my studies in computer science and engineering in the University of Twente. Uh, I'm going to do my bachelor's there, and I have some few questions to ask. So, can I ask? Like, can I begin with my questions? Yeah, uh, just one thing. The you have already got admit in Twente, or you're going to apply for bachelor's? I got like final admission from uh, University of Twente for bachelor's in computer science and engineering, and uh, I got a final admission from TU Eindhoven for electrical engineering. But I am going for computer science and engineering at University ah, okay. of Twente. Like, how is the education system different, like the Dutch education system and the Indian education system? Yeah, the experience. It's, it's completely different. I mean, I should make a web series on that, like. based on just my master's experience but i'll just mm -hmm. tell you in brief like uh, mm -hmm. uh, i mean in my bachelor's that was like a state government college in india so uh, it's like practical knowledge what we had during bachelor's of any labs or whatever we did in computer science uh, like uh, mm -hmm. anything like operating system or any courses we had practical knowledge was very poor like uh, at least okay. in my case i don't know maybe in iits and nits they have very good practical knowledge also but uh, okay. in state government college what we had was almost near to zero you can say and here okay. the amount of exposure you get when you uh, i mean labs are also not like labs they are also designed very differently for different courses like uh, Uh, okay that's I mean, good that's in good. some cases they will have like a remote uh, system where you can uh, i mean they have built the server and you can do the assignment and you can work on it any place and nothing is mandatory mm -hmm. i mean for courses or this kind of stuff the labs i think only one you need to come and everything is free i mean most of the courses are also recorded so people sometimes prefer to work from home mm -hmm. it also depends on you how you feel Uh, I mean, if you're comfortable, then you can stay in home for like one week and attend them. And if it is not recorded, then maybe you need to come. That you need to see, but it's not mandatory. I mean, there is no uh, pressure on you that you should do this, that, that. So it's very flexible. And when you do these group projects, I mean, almost every course in CS mm -hmm. like group projects. That mm -hmm. gives you a lot of knowledge. Like when you meet okay. people, not about culture, but the way of working way of thinking and these kind of things like when you start listening to different people then you always know like maybe five people say that it can be done in mm -hmm. this way then you suddenly realize okay maybe this is something which i have never thought of so something like that like okay i get it okay and uh, some bit can you tell me like how important are communication skills and you know personality development skills in general when you are looking for jobs like some companies look for you know these communication skills and uh, these leadership yeah, skills and I mean, things uh, like that yeah i mean as i said like written if if that has a written exam then you need those reasoning and uh, all other things but uh, communication is always required i mean even if you have a written or not written but uh, if you are good in communicating in english uh, it's always desirable like uh, uh, and uh, i mean you should be because the connection you is a bit the netherlands cool. you already have okay. like a, uh, you already mm -hmm. have qualified the uh, what is that called i mean that's very easy to qualify if you are in english medium in india but i'm just saying like the ielts ielts yeah anything like toefl or ielts so uh, like i had this thing that after bachelor's i will get like one year of orientation year visa and should i use that to get work experience what do you think like uh, with orientation year visa i ha i have like a work permit for one year i think that's like the orientation year visa Should yeah, I, use it? Yeah, like, I also I covered about that in the video, like uh, yes, 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 the price is nice. thing. So the, I mean, it depends. Like if you want to do masters and then search for jobs, then you should immediately do. In my opinion, like uh, you should not have like a one year gap. I mean, experience is always good, but uh, just getting one year experience also doesn't help that much. I mean, okay. if you have like two three years and then you switch, then it's fine, but. again the problem will be like when you have two mm -hmm. years then switching might be also you will be reluctant to like yeah. uh, yes that's true so 
that you need to decide like uh, but i have seen one thing that here people are very hard working so if you are coming only for masters it might be difficult but as you will already be used to bachelor so maybe i think also during bachelor i'm not sure you can do some part time jobs depending on how you manage your studies and that okay. will give some experience mm-hmm. i mean although it might not be that much but it will add something to a cv and always someone will value that for when you apply mm-hmm. for job or something that's okay and that's if you really good to know there mm-hmm. i think during masters you can also do part time i mean during masters is not advisable because it's very hectic but still okay. that's people do it i mean so obviously if you do bachelor i think you will get to know also by oh, that yes, time that's, that's true, always that's true. advantage like people who is coming mm-hmm. for a masters he's starting from zero and you are already starting from three like you are staying for three so years. yes 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 that's you always true. have a higher advantage of the climate employee mm-hmm. thing like that's true sambit yes and uh, the next question i had was that uh, like what are the living cost in netherlands like uh, like yeah. in general so, for a student yeah yeah i mean i'm thinking like i i i want your advice on one thing that uh, i yes. mean i have written on the living i have written many responses in coda but mm-hmm. uh, i feel that i need to make a proper detailed video on it but i just i mean i know many ways to do it but i want to i i will mm-hmm. explain you now briefly but i just want your advice on uh, what way it will be more uh, visible like uh, uh, to mm-hmm. make a screen capture and also talk simultaneously or uh, in what way will it be good because uh, i mean mm-hmm. I, cannot show every day what i buy from supermarkets i mean i yes, to... i think you can just like uh, show them like what prices are like for the mm-hmm. ingredients like for spices for food yeah, items like what are the cost you spend in a week and then yes like yes that. like what are the cost on insurance if you go out if mm-hmm. you you know do a trip Substance like and, and these kind of things like uh, cost on hair cuts mobile that okay, mobile okay. sim yeah yeah that's good you know if you cover all the parts you know mm-hmm. it would be very good if you can just show yeah. like how much it will come out i think it would be very good okay for, for indians i think you know the spices are very important and uh, you can also show that you know what spices can you get and where can you get it from so that, yeah. i think that would be very good what okay. do you think yeah 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 i mean the, the thing is like these kind of things then it needs to be done in like 10 15 days so it's like every day i do 5 5 10 10 minutes then i have a nice content and then i can edit yeah, it and make a good video like uh, i mean basically the rent is like your uh, it increases every year because of the government rules and many other things even the rent where i'm living now is has increased now in from march uh, okay. so it will be now the rate is around uh, how much if you live in private then it will be around 400 to 450 i think yeah okay. something like that 400 to 450 euro but that also varies i mean i think if you go to 20 and skede or maybe eindhoven it's less than delft i mean delft is yes. very it is it's it's bit expensive as compared to other student mm-hmm. cities so this is the cost of delft what i'm saying is like 400 to 450 or 480 if it is a big house private and it is mm-hmm. a little bit away and most of the places the only thing is same is that if you are living little bit away from the city center like 2 or 3 kilometers mm-hmm. then it's always 50 or 100 euros cheaper than what you pay if you are exactly in the city center that's oh, okay. always that's true in any good. city in other mm-hmm. so i think best option will be there is no point of spending extra money and staying exactly in the center where you mm-hmm. even need to use any transport just walk in front of you there will be a supermarket and yes, the that's true. Yeah, tram yeah. station and so mm-hmm. you have to choose like whether you want to spend more and stay like that or you have to spend less and use your bike i mean the bicycle because they call it bike here so that's a very good mode of transport so if you want to stay away and spend less money and use your bike regularly that's also fine i mean the weather is not that great always 
but mm-hmm. we get used to it i mean people mm-hmm. said many times that there is no sun no sun but i see a lot of sun it's not like that bad but, uh, i mean sometimes the winters are wet i mean now today also it is raining so that is there but it's not like that bad mm-hmm. and if you like if you are i mean okay uh, finished so months i think that you um 